welcome to what I eat in a day. It is a sunny Saturday morning. And for this week's video, I just thought I would show what I eat start to finish in one day. From time to time, I like to share my favorite recipes in my easy one person meal ideas video. I have two of those up. I will have linked below if you want some more like dinner meal ideas, but following my recent video attempting the two week Chloe Ting ab challenge, there were some good results in that video and I was getting a lot of questions about if I changed my diet or whatever. I did not change it, but I thought I would still show you what I eat in a day for those who are curious. So as you saw, I poured out my iced coffee. This iced coffee is so good. The Califia Farms, just black coffee. So for today's breakfast, it's the same thing thing I make every single day. If you watch vlogs again, you probably know what's coming. It is my avocado toast. Very simple, but I feel like it's an elevated avocado toast recipe. Super quick, really delicious, and addictive. <laughs> so since I've shared that recipe before, we're gonna breeze through this. I think the key to this is the sourdough bread. We all have our bread preferences, I suppose. But I've eaten this every single day. I kid you not, for most of 2020. And I think if this were on some kind of seeded multigrain option, I don't know if it would have the same appeal all these months later. And it just keeps me coming back. So weirdly, so you might be like balsamic vinegar, Morgan. The one at Trader Joe's isn't that vinegary if you've had it. Some ones you might get at other grocery stores might not be the flavor we're going for. You might wanna do like a balsamic glaze, but the combination of this with chili flakes is so, so good. I'm just gonna eat this, probably watch a YouTube video. That's what I usually do in the mornings. I'm in the middle of a Sierra Schultz video, buying everything influencers advertised for a week or something like that. That was a great idea. So that's gonna be my breakfast entertainment. It's Saturday, so I think I'm gonna do some chill work that's what's on the agenda for after this but i'm starving so good morning and let's eat <laughs> That was a surprise. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. <laughs> Anyways, I'm now done with my breakfast. It was delicious. As always, I'm gonna go sip my coffee. A few hours later, I've done an outfit change, but I've still not gotten ready for today. <laughs> Generally, that avocado toast keeps me full for probably like, probably like four hours. I don't know if it's the avocado. We have some healthy fats in there. It is pretty filling, and I do normally eat it with some fruit, so I'm a little hungrier than usual at the moment. But what I'm making for lunch, I'm so excited about this. I only made this for the first time a few days ago. It was kind of an impromptu little throw together summer salad and it is delicious. So easy, this literally takes five minutes. The only thing that takes any time to prepare is um, grilling, or not grilling, I don't know, cooking up your peach, warming it up on the stove top, and then we're just throwing together a bunch of ingredients. So we have some arugula, some prosciutto, some burrata. I never bought this from Trader Joe's, but it comes with two like big cheese balls. So I just cut one in half and that is how much I use for one serving. And then we're gonna top it with some balsamic glaze and salt and pepper and it is so good, so easy. Yeah, it's just a really light summer salad type thing. So step one, we're gonna slice up our peach. <laughs>
salad. So easy, very fast, and so good. I'm super lazy with my lunches. I'm either a lot of times like a snack luncher, like I just snack on things and that's my lunch, or I'll make smoothies or things like that. So the fact that I actually made this shows that it's very easy because I'm not like someone who cooks for a meal in addition to dinner ever. So I'm just having my chill Saturday, like I said. I'm gonna do some laundry, nothing crazy, hanging out, maybe watch some Netflix. But first we're gonna eat this. Mm. Oh, so good. Oh, right? The Morgan special. Mm-hmm. dinner time. Tonight I'm making a little jasmine rice like veggie salmon bowl. We're gonna whip up a little sesame sauce to go on the salmon and then I am gonna be using mushrooms and broccoli. So this is so easy. Everything we've been cooking today has been like a one pan meal. This is all happening in one pan. If you're at the point in your life where you're wanting to invest in a really good pan, it's a little expensive. I'm gonna have the one I splurged on link below. It's my favorite. I use it for everything clearly. So first step, this rice I don't know what it is about jasmine rice. It just tastes so much better in my opinion. So these are the frozen little packs from Trader Joe's. It goes in the microwave for three minutes. I go usually just do this first. Um, that way it can kind of cool down because it's really hot after it comes out. So I'm gonna do that, start cutting up veggies. And then while the veggies are cooking, we're gonna cut up our salmon and put that in there and it's gonna have a really nice sear. So that's where we're going. It's gonna be delicious. that the key to getting a really good like crispy sear on your salmon to put down a little extra avocado oil or olive oil whatever you're using and to not move it so I just set it there and I watch until it's cooked like halfway through and then I flip it and do the same thing so that way we're not moving it around I feel like it contributes to having like a good crispy crispy edge going on so and then I'm gonna go ahead and start plating minutes max it's so easy this is so flavorful not too many ingredients sometimes I cook two servings of this even though I'm just cooking for one person because this reheats really well as well and that's what's for dinner easy enough <laughs> Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I will see all of you guys in my next video. Good night. <laughs>